Hey guys, this is Uncle Doug, um, again with fellowshipofthemartyrs.com. I don't know how much video this will be, but it's just um, a little explanation of a concept, a revelation or something that hit me last night. Um... Around here, it's a regular thing for me to wake up in the morning or be woke up by somebody who ran the car out of gas, is late for work, and so and so was supposed to drive them, but they had a fight. And, you know, could I take them? Could somebody else take them? What are we going to do? Um, something's broke down. Electric company's coming to shut something off. I mean, it's just all the time something. Um, the the PayPal's not working at the thrift store. The the battery's dead on the big truck. The I mean, just something. And then there's a certain amount of just fighting with folks. Not fighting. I mean, they want to argue. They want to debate. They want to whatever. Um... And I begin to understand how people tithe to Satan. And a tithe typically has been defined to mean a tenth, but biblically speaking, in Malachi, when it talks about bringing your tithes and offerings, um, when you add up all the different offerings, all the different stuff that the the Israelites were supposed to do, it's closer to 30% of their revenue income. Of course, some of that, they have a party where they're supposed to bring 10% and spend it on themselves and have a party and just rejoice with the Lord. So it's not really give it to the, give it to the pastor so he can buy a Bentley. Anyway... Um, so let's just say tithing is a, is more generic than 10%. But there are all kinds of ways that we offer offerings, sacrificial gifts, whatever. I'm going to wipe this camera. I think I got some kind of thing there. I don't know if that's any better. I don't know what I have to wipe it with either. Oh. Try a sock here. Well, that's less something there. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> um, uh, look at that. It's not going where it's supposed to go either. Let's just say that Satan wants you to offer your praise, your worship, your attention, your money to him. And he's going to do everything he can to make sure that if you don't knowingly do it, if you don't willingly do it, he's going to steal it. And I would like you to consider, when you get to the end of your day, how much time did you spend fighting with your wife, arguing about nonsense with co-workers, defending your sports team, watching stupid useless stuff on TV, playing video games that doesn't edify, doesn't do anything and may grieve God, um, spending money at bars, spending money on weed, spending money on other drugs, just generally chasing the wind. And how much that's an offering to Satan. Now I understand that there are times we need to unwind, de-stress, let our brains do something other than the, the work that we do every day. And we want to go fishing or play a video game or 
you know, say hi to your friends on Facebook or whatever. But then there's just useless quarrels and wasted time and energy spent pleasing Satan glorifying him with your words, with your deeds, with your money, with your time, with your energy, whatever. And I'm starting to find and see how in my life, although I'm not trying to offer sacrifices to Satan, I'm not trying to willfully give him a percentage of, of my life, people are stealing it. It's it's ending up happening that way, where I'm 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 having to spend an hour or two a day fighting with demons out of other people, unraveling their nonsense, responding to to their lies, whatever. And it's one thing to be a hospital and to be a doctor and to deal with the sick people, and it's another thing to be just caught up in useless quarrels. And I try really, really hard not to do that. And it's really irritating when my time, which is valuable, gets stolen, or seemingly stolen, into stupid things that didn't need to go that way. And... I'm not sure how anybody was edified. Maybe you could say it's training, it's warfare, people are growing, they're learning more, and whatever. But in a lot of ways, I think sometimes I, I just see something go for a couple of hours, nonstop. Then some switch is flipped. We reach 10%, met your quota, it's all good now. And it lets up. And I've begun to think, to, to really uh, think about how much Satan is trying to extract from us an offering to him of our energy and our time, which damages our witness and our testimony, keeps us from ministering to other people, and keeps us from accomplishing the things that God wants us to accomplish because we're busy uh, fixing all the broken things that uh, Satan broke so that it would slow us down, wear us out. Anyway, take a look at your life. Comment down here. Let me know if uh, you don't think maybe some of that same stuff's happening to you. Thanks. In the name of Jesus, amen.